Carolyn Bernard Young. I'm a Choctaw potter, making contemporary Choctaw pottery, not using the traditional methods, but using modern stoneware and an electric kiln. But I hope that my work honors my Choctaw ancestors. I like to use some imagery from Choctaw ancient pottery, and I also try to tell stories of Choctaw ancient tales, legends, things like that, and historical events. I like to document things such as the Choctaw Code Talkers, um, the Trail of Tears, and then fun things like the tale of the hare and the, and the turtle. So I spend hours every day just etching, etching in the clay in my studio in Weatherford, Texas. It is my passion. I truly love what I'm doing and I hope that what I'm doing honors my ancestors. I've been doing this for about 20 years, 22 years now, I guess. I started out just throwing pots on the wheel and, and adding a glaze, but then I took a class in Scraffito, which is this type of work, where you put a black slip over the white clay and then you carve into it. And I was hooked, and I, that's what I've done ever since. I've been doing this work for about 20 years. Hello, Chimachukma. My name is Gwen Coleman Lester. I am a Choctaw from Claremore, Oklahoma, but my family came from around Hugo and the Fort Towson area. I have always been an artist. I have always drawn pictures all my life, but I think I have been um, painting and drawing professionally for almost 30 years. I do anything. All of my artwork relates to Choctaw culture, whether it's history, um, the, the culture as in the dances, the language, or if it's something that's very contemporary, I feel like I, I want to do anything that's related to Choctaw. Because when I was younger, I grew up in the middle of Cherokee country and I, I never saw any Choctaw art. And so I felt like if you don't see it, you just got to do it yourself. So that's how I got started in, in uh, drawing and painting. Uh, Choctaw subject matter. Although in the beginning for me because of you know the way you're raised sometimes it's hard to differentiate what is Choctaw and what's what's not. <laughs> As a kid you know your mind has to separate that to figure out what is Choctaw culture. But anyway uh, I gradually figured that out and I love painting and drawing, it's just a part of who I am, and I think it's a God-given talent, and God gives every artist their talent, and I love doing things that I feel like are representational of our culture, uh, and like I was when I was a kid, I always wanted to see Choctaw art, because my parents took me to places where I could see art. And so I think it's, it's really good for kids to see art that they can identify with. Well, my name is Allison Crawford, and um, I am Choctaw. My um, grandmother was an original enrollee, and uh, I started making soap about 20 years ago um, as a hobby. And um, the Cherokee uh, recipe actually got passed down to... Um, uh, the Choctaw side and I originally started out with a live soap recipe but I was a pediatric preemie care specialist and I wanted to um, work healing skin issues with some of the children that had immune system problems and just so fragile you know from surgeries I created the uh, lye soap and added goat milk and honey to it, which are two natural antibiotics and um, also moisturizers. And, and so you have a natural antibiotic, a natural antimicrobial soap, um, and then the different essential oils I started adding have even more properties for healing. And that's one thing that's very important to me is that everything that goes into the soap is all natural all organic and it's going to benefit the body in some way either spiritually or aromatherapy wise as well as the skin healing properties. Um, I milk my own goats. Uh, it kind of started out with my son being in 4-H and needing a goat for 4-H. That 
that goat had babies, and then those babies had babies, and I needed something to do with them. Uh, and I really enjoy what I do. I, I don't nurse anymore because I do this full time. And, um, but my soap goes all over the world. I'm very proud of it. It's a passion thing for me to do, and it's a way for me to heal and uh, to carry on uh, the legacy, hence the legacy name for Legacy Soap, um, for a dying art. There's not many soap makers anymore that still make everything from scratch and everything comes off of their own property. Um, uh, I, I love what I do and, and um, it sells really well, so I guess I must be doing something right somewhere. It's a way for us to, to share what we do with other people, and you never know who may walk in here, you know, and they don't realize that they, you know, people say, oh, you still make soap? You know, and it's like, it's an original, you know, recipe. Um, I switched it up a little bit. I have a, my own proprietary formula that I do, so it's not, you know, from the 1800s, you know, that the old cowboys in the bathtub, you know, were we're scrub-a-dub-dub, -dub, but um, Heritage Day is a way to celebrate our ancestors and the things that they did and show that we appreciate them and carry them forward. And so we're gonna pass it down to the next generation and that validates to me um, our Choctaw lineage. And then things were important, we need to continue doing them and do them right and do them to the best of our ability and continue to share them with the world. That's, that's where legacies you know, were passed down. So Heritage Day affords me the opportunity to do that.